So tomorrow is Mother's Day, Mothering Sunday, and I thought it would be fun to attempt to make a Simnel cake for Mothering Sunday. And a Simnel cake is something that uh, girls in service in uh, Victorian and Edwardian England would make for their mum. They would come home and bake this for them so mom didn't have to make anything for tea and it was like a gift for them. Now I've never made this before. <laughs> I always do like the hard things first. I don't like practice by doing easy things and building up. I go to the strange thing that nobody in America knows how to make and you know with the British recipe that I'm trying to convert into measurements that I, I know about. So it could be exciting so I will keep you filled in so here are my ingredients flour powdered sugar butter brown sugar raisins plums they just call for some sort of fruit fruits like currants or cranberries whatever you want and then this is the amazing thing marzipan I was absolutely floored that I found this because the only way that I had ever heard of marzipan was I was watching Poldark and, you know, I think Caroline was always saying, Oh, do you want me to go get you some marzipan? And I was like, what is that? And I did not expect to find it in my store, so that's pretty cool. But I don't even know what it will do. Like, when I mess with it, I don't know what it will do. So, this is going to be an adventure. I have converted my ingredients from grams and milliliters to cups and stuff like that. We will see if that's right or not. If it is, I will take a better picture and you can see it later. Okay, I have stirred together my flour, my spices, and my fruits. So then I will do the butter and the sugar over there and the eggs and beat them together. So I've now uh, beaten together my my uh, dark brown sugar and my butter, and I was glad that I left my butter out and it wasn't in the refrigerator because it was so nice and soft and it was easy to cream it together like that. So now I'm gonna mix the two together and add in my eggs. I always do this, do you do this? No, mom did this when, I was, when we were little. Like she would be baking something. Um she'd be like, Okay, come on. I'm like the beater. Mmm. <laughs> it's really good. Mm. I'm just stirring everything together now. And that's kinda what it looks like. But my goodness, get ready for an arm workout. My arm was already wore out from the beater. And now I'm mixing this all together. It should look sticky like this. So I've rolled out my marzipan. I had to use the whole, the whole box for this. It's not a perfect circle, but oh well. And I'm gonna put it on top of here. So I'll show you what it looks like when I put it on there. Okay, my cake is ready to go in the oven. Yes, it does say wrap it in brown paper. I got it all wet first before I did that. I guess most British cakes are wrapped in brown paper. I guess it's because this one has to bake for a long time. So hopefully it doesn't catch on fire and burn down my house. So I'm gonna bake that for an hour. So far, it's not on fire. So, yes, we will see. And then I'm gonna roll out my marzipan balls and the rest of the marzipan that'll go on the top while I'm waiting for it to bake. So I have cleaned up the kitchen because I've always learned that you need to clean up while you're working so you don't have a huge mess afterwards. So while it's baking, I've been doing that and we've got 32 minutes left for the first part of the baking. We will see. I also say how horrid I think it is if it's true that girls in service only got one day off a year to go home. Like one, not even around Christmas or anything like after Christmas or, I hope that's not true. I really hope that's not true. I hope that's like some legend. It's not true. Cause that's like, that's mean. <laughs> so here it is out of the cake tin. Now I used a 
a uh, cheesecake thing, which was great because you can unsnap the side there, see? And pop it out and it was just so easy, so much better. And plus it's deep enough. A regular cake tin would not be deep enough and it would have been really kind of a mess to get out. So right now I'm letting it cool completely like I'm supposed to before I put my marzipan on the top of that. So I don't know how long that'll take, we will see. And finally it is done. See this red in my face? <sighs> it took a long time, but uh, here it is. Very pretty, isn't it? Now we'll see if it tastes any good.